All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at spheres in this uh, uh, in Autodesk Inventor. So we're going to go drop down, new part file. And it always takes just a second to start up on the first time you do a drawing when you turn on your machine. Okay, so here we have our uh, our part file open, and we're going to go. Uh, so first, we're going to go ahead and make a, just a you know an average sphere here. So we're going to uh, new 2D sketch. We click on a plane. We're going to go ahead and make a circle. Uh, it's okay for me just if you if you click on the origin, the 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 thing you're drawing will be locked to the origin. It'll be constrained to the origin. That's fine with me in this case because I don't need to move it around. Just know that that is happening. I'm going to go ahead and make this a 12 inch. Uh, sphere. Okay, uh, and so what we need is we need a circle, and then we need a line through that circle. So I'm going to click, pull my mouse down, click again, and we have our line. I'm going to go ahead and remember our heads up menu. We right click, move the mouse, and release on the option we want. I'm going to go ahead and do finish sketch, and then I'm going to click zoom all again on the right here. All right, so now we're ready to do our uh, our sphere. So we're going to go ahead and do revolve, and we're going to notice that we have our heads up menu over here, but we also have the menu over here. I think for a beginner, the menu, the the square menu, is a little bit easier because it has these red arrows. So notice that we're going to go ahead and click the profile. That's the thing we want to revolve. Then we're going to click the arrow next to axis, and we're going to click the line. So that's the line about which we are revolving. Okay. We're going to go ahead and click the line, and we're going to get this nice preview. We can also do just an angle, so we could just do a 90 degree. Notice that. In this case, we want a full sphere, so we're just going to go uh, full. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now, one of the thing when working with spheres is that uh, people have a have, have an issue with, uh, well, I, they want to make something else on the sphere, like some additional um, uh, drawing or some additional feature on the sphere, but they're not sure how they can add the sketch. Okay can't add a sketch, you uh, you have to have a flat surface to add a sketch. So the way that you do this is you use a work plane. So we're going to go ahead and do the drop down for work plane. And uh, you want to just go ahead and do this in this order when you're starting out. So we're going to go um, uh, offset from plane right here. So to click the drop down for plane, we click offset from plane. And then what we're going to do, actually we're just going to click plane, sorry click cancel, <laughs> just click plain, just plain old plain. Uh, and we're going to do a drop down for origin. And notice that now what we're going to do over here in the browser, we're going to go under part one, and we're going to do a drop down, we're going to open up origin by clicking the little triangle next to it. And then we're going to click just whatever plane we want to use. In this case, we're going to use uh, the XY plane. Now what we're going to do is we actually can go ahead and notice notice that when I um, when I click on here, Notice that it's actually going to place the plane on the surface of the uh, of the um, sphere. Okay. Now I could move this out if we want, but this is exactly what we want to do. Okay. So I click the sphere, and it basically places the plane on the outside of the sphere right there, which is just fine. All right. Okay. Let me go ahead and undo this. So the other option that we had here was if I click Control Z. The other option we could have done is to go drop down to offset from plane, okay, click on this the XY plane again, and notice that now I got a couple of options, right? So now what I can do is I can take this and actually drag it out wherever I want. So if I wanted this plane to be somewhere other than on the surface, I would use this offset from plane, okay, like that, all right? Now, it's almost impossible with your naked eye, though, to get this exactly tangent to the plane. Okay, so it's your choice for what you're doing. If you just click regular plane, X, Y, or y, you know, X, Y, or whichever one you're going to use, and then just click on the, on, the, on the surface of it. Whoops. 
oops, <laughs> where's it click? Regular plane, X, Y, okay? And then essentially what we're gonna do is just click on the surface right here, okay? And that's gonna get us exactly right where we want it to go, okay? So that's gonna get it, uh, it's a work plane tangent to the sphere. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and put a 2D sketch on here, okay? So to do that, I click on 2D sketch, and I actually have, can't just go in the middle of the work plane. I'm gonna click on the edges of it, so this edge right here. And I just wanna cut off the bottom. I'm, I'm making an object that's gonna sit on a flat surface. So notice that one thing that people get a little bit confused about is, is they think they have to stay on the work plane, and that's not true. So you're working on a sketch that's on the work plane. So the work plane is kind of smallish. The sketch is an actual plane uh, that, that proceeds in every direction infinitely. So, um, so you can make sketch, your sketch does not have to fit on the work plane. In fact, um, uh, you can actually change the visibility of the work plane, which we'll be doing in just a second. So we're gonna do finish sketch, we're going to extrude the thing we just did. Okay, so notice that I'm going to turn my thing around here, and we want to cut off the um, the bottom of the of the sphere. Okay, so I'm going to do six inches. I'm going to make it go the other or twelve inches. I'm going to make it go the other direction because so it's intersecting the sphere, and I'm going to make it a cut. So notice I'm doing the drop down. I could also do this in this other dialog here. Okay, so in this case it would be distance twelve inches. We make it a cut. Okay, we click OK, and notice that now the bottom is the, that the sphere is cut off. Okay. All right, we can do a couple other things. For example, if we want to, uh, um, but let's just stick with the sphere idea here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and do another sketch. We can use the work plane again. We can make another sketch right on top of the work plane. In this case, we're going to do a second revolve. So we're actually going to take this, we're going to do a circle. Okay, another circle. And we're going to click, pull, click. And we're going to uh, make this uh, six inches. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and put a line in the middle of it. And you guessed it, we're going to make kind of a dimple inside of this thing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and finish sketch. And now we're going to click revolve. We're going to select one side, click axis, select the middle portion. And this time we're going to go ahead and cut. So we're going to go ahead and change this to cut. We can do it here in the, in the uh, square in the window that comes up, or we can do it in the heads up display. And we go ahead and click uh, check. And now we can go ahead and click on the work plane, right click and change it to not visible. And there we have our objects. We got this kind of uh, circle with a dimple in it. Okay, uh, there we have it, working with spheres.